know, as you know, the beaches can get very, very hectic here in Natal on holidays. So we picked a spot that we know is a bit, a bit better, it might not get as busy. And I'm just going to make a trace up. I know there, there's, we get shade here, so at least maybe get a fish, but the northeast has been blowing, so it's not necessarily going to be any shade around. The spot works on the southwest. So, but just in case, I still use a 0.76 Siglon ferrocarbon because the shade doesn't bite me off as easy on it. With a circle look, we'll make a nice bait. I'm going to put it in the back. We're almost on low tide. And we, sure, I think we're actually on spring or maybe a day before spring. I haven't checked. So we'll put it out there and maybe we can uh, lure in a nice edible. One of the the gents that helped me in the garden for four years now I went fishing the day before yesterday at Ibedin um, Shad Bay and got himself a nice big yellow tail on a KP it's a pity I don't think the photos came out but Tammy told the best story explaining how it happened so there are a bit of fish around look it's not uh, fireworks we know that it hasn't been for a while but there's some big sh uh, shad around and uh, a lot of nice fish here and there. So we have to give it a go. Take one of these swords out for now. I'm gonna put a nice tough bait uh, as I do most of the time. Maybe just uh, an octi leg. Let's base again. And then a, a red eye. Maybe do a nice little combo bait with some chocker around there. Well, that will probably use a dangle then. belly now what I'm, I'm using pool noodle because it's got a bit of an absorption quality to it and it's softer for edible fishing personal thing I like it it's got enough buoyancy in my opinion a high density at one stage it was kind of a competition you could get the highest density foam under England <laughs> it was a bit of a laughing matter Oh, that, this special imported surfboard, this surfboard, that. That uh, you like, use what you like. It makes sense to you. Now, the reason I'm building this bait the way I do for both shad and cob, I want to kind of imitate a bit of a fish, as you can see. The movements here on the tentacle that will form the tail. And especially with a circle hook, a shad will grab where the tail is, like they do. So it won't bite you off if you don't put it too high. So you stop it there. So it will come and hit it on the hook. So with a circle hook, better hook up right doing that. Okay. But you also want to keep it proud. So with the Opti leg, sometimes you have to stick in a bit of cotton there just to flatten it on that section. Using a 2 Pika K circle. Just started using the hooks not too long ago and I really like them. Grab that, protect the belly a bit longer in the water. Add a bit of flavor. I think with this bait, anything, a honeycomb. Sandy, anything will pick this up. Here we go. Just a bit of tail there. Nice little bait. Uh, be 
using a, a weed eater. Five ounce. 30 pound J braid. My salt is 5,000. It needs a bit of braid again. I need to fill it up. And the iron feather 14 foot. Wow. on the south coast uh, there's been the odd good fish off Stabel a lot of northeast the last week and with a little bit of west for one day and the rest northeast so you've got a heavy north south current the water color I don't really like Saturday morning mommy wants to come to the beach Kamara is down south so we're on the beach here yeah? and we're gonna give it a go um, oh it doesn't look great at all but I'm gonna put a bait here for a sick fish, like a sick cob or a sick uh, a stumpy, three days after springtime. And then uh, water is still quite high. You can see there's a lot of guys on Stabel, some grown anglers and some normal anglers, but a lot. So we'll see if there's action there. But we're just going to take it easy, put a few baits out, and hope there's some sick, hungry fish in this area or vicinity that likes the bait. So let's give it a shot.
of chocker base and then a bit of soft chocker and then I now decided to add a bit of uh, red eyes just for smell because the water's off color and then I'm gonna wrap it again with some chocker now for this not to shift up I first want to get some cotton on the chocker and then on the bottom before I wrap it it's a nice little chocolate red eye. Not using a very big hook. Alright guys, uh, Frenchy just been on now, but a good fish, really good fish, took quite a bit of line, it's only got like about 200 meters of backing that's left in the field, and uh, it's fighting it well, the fish was coming quite a bit, and it started taking up again, our only main concern at the moment is that bank in the back, where that bank has scattered deep, so as soon as you can turn this fish, I actually want it to come more to the left, we can land it here, when there's no rocks here, sharks play on this side, it's only where he is coming to, but there's a lot of rocks. So let's hope we can turn this fish quick enough because it's still taking a decent fish. He got it on a, a mackerel and, and chuck a bomb bait. Uh, the drop was, I think, we said 300. So the fish went there. Let's get to that route.
uh, it was a good fight. Took about an hour. Nice sandy. Uh, took on a uh, uh, mackerel with a squid wrapped around it. The mackerel bomb with a squid around it. Sat on the bait for about 10 minutes. Found something there. Five minutes later, down. It was a good fight. Terrific. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, a lot of action here. As you can see, there's a guy fighting off Stabel. He's fought to Chiena. My rod went and came all the way right. Sitting on the lip there at about 160 meters. Um, it dropped me. And then Kumaran took off. You'll see the, the marks here in the sand. I caught it just in time. But I had both rods on my hand. I couldn't tighten up nicely. And then I just gave a lot of slack line. It was coming in. Um, Kumaran got here a bit late to grab it from me and tighten up. But I think it's... It was too late, this fish would have, we would have known if it was on. Pity, it took off with a speed. So, I have to reset both rods. Hang on, what's that? The wave. Okay, yes, Kamaran's bait's still intact. As you can see how the, there was definitely teeth involved here, so I suspect it was a black fin, the way it took off. That's why the rod and pipe was coming this way. It was just too fast for the drag. But it's messed up the old trays. You can see the kinks. Um, so it was probably jumping when it, when it came off. Because it just suddenly, as I got hold of the rod, it was just slack. So my suspicion, jumping shark. Look at that man. He stretched the tummy muscle, the ab muscle. What are we going to know? I can't catch a fish.